Okay, uh, hello everyone. We just found crystals. Uh, what we're gonna do is resolve the uh, Sandril Matali feud. Hey, Bastila. Oh boy. You ever use the one. forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just cause you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> what the... Hey! That wasn't funny! I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. See, I like this part because this is where Basila shows that she's not a stuck-up bitch. Because she enjoys a little bit of the joking fun with Mission and pushes her over. But speaking of which, let's talk to Bastila. How can I help? I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. Oh. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. I don't understand why we shared this vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. But how did our fates become linked? I, I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Oh, well, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. Well, you better get used to it, sweetheart, because we're going to have a bond for the rest of the game. What would you like to know? Mm. As a chick? No, you cannot romance Basil as a chick. Uh, never mind. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Uh, let's How see. Can I help? Does she have anything more to say? No, she has nothing more to say. Then I suggest we move on. Okay, so let's see if we can find that last Mandalorian leader because. I really want to finish that off, but I think what I, I didn't do is I didn't kill the, uh... Oh, there they are. Here's the last little group here. Let's take care of them. Choke him. Let's make this quick. Oh, oh yes. Choke him. Hey, lash him up now. There. Oh my god, Basila, I'm not going to take that. Why do you and Mission want me to take that? Jeez. There's a pervert. Let's make this quick. Let's make this quick. She keeps saying, let's make this quick. Uh, okay then. Oh, see, that's all. You've got to take it nice and slow. Got a med pack. What the hell is in this? Metal case. Oh, boy. You know, they hype it up like it's a big metal case, and all there is in it is a repair kit. Okay, Foot Locker, what's in you? All right, now we're talking some more. My Oh, 50 credits. I just got excited over 50 credits. Probably because I'm broke right now in real life. 50 bucks. Oh yes, because because of magic cards. But yeah, 50 bucks sounds really nice right now. Uh, but we have more so stuff that we can put on them. Uh, reflex. How good is your reflex? You could work on it a little. Well, actually, no. Your reflexes quite well. 
I'll, I'll leave this. Uh... Oh, this is on you. Never mind. Okay. You're good. Oh, what's this? Ooh, we'll take those. And, uh... What's, what's Basila's stats out? Oh, her... Of course she's freaking retarded. Her intelligence is only at 11. Uh... Her strength is pretty good. Mission. We'll give mission, please. There we go. Switch back. More giant stingrays flying in the sky. I don't know if get right there. That looks like a f giant flying stingray. Okay, we don't want to. No, no, ah, uh, no, 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 no. Why can't we just not kill Cap Bounce anymore? Take that. The Force fights with me, guys. Please. Let's make this quick. We stop fighting Cap Bounce. <laughs> You'll never get me. Oh, now they're gonna attack the most powerful Cap Bounce in the game, and that would be the albino Cap Bounce. Yeah, the Master, force freaking, fights oh, with me. All your force powers. You gotta go up and attack it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna back up. No, let me out. I'll show you. God, Vastly, you freaking. You retard. cannot win. No, I don't want you to attack. God. Okay, sorry guys about what I'm about to do, but... Where's the cloud? Let's make this quick. So be it! Mission! Oh my god. Oh my god! You guys are You guys are retarded. So be it. You're gonna die because you guys just had to freaking attack half ounce. Why? Yes. No! Natalie, you kill yourself! Okay, you know what? Probably be smart to... Just leave the freaking cap hounds alone! Okay, can't, can't you do that? Why is it not letting me switch to Basila? Oh god. No, Basila, don't die. Don't die, Basila! If you value your life, don't die! Wait, doesn't make sense. You bitch! You bitch! You did this to me! You did this to me! No! 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 I can't! Oh no! No! Please! Please, Cap Hound! No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh god! Oh sweet baby Jesus! 
No. 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 No, heal! No! You bitch! You're retarded! them for doing this to me. Fucking useless pieces of shits. Yeah, you, I'm glad you guys get to have a little nappy nap while I do this. God. Where are they? Oh. Oh no. Wait, okay. Maybe I can just take care of this one. Just please don't miss this, Natalie. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Yeah, yeah, glad to see you guys awake. Glad to see you guys motherfucking awake. God, Basila, you brought Mission into this, huh? okay? She's like, she's just a kid. God damn. I'm here. You, you, you know what? No, you're gonna be like that for a little while. Sorry. Now we what? have shit to do, guys. Can we not attack calf hounds? We have some shit to do. Maybe we don't have to go all the way to the, uh, Matali's. I'm hoping we don't, because I don't want to go back. This is private property. I come on the behalf of the Jedi Council. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Matali's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matali witch hunt. I am not in league with the Matali's, but I must speak to Nurek. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed. But given the circumstances, I will make That's it. That's right, let me in. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I'm here on the behalf of the Jedi Council. I'm investigating the disappearance of Sean Montali. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness and pursuit Pastor of justice. Who are you there talking to? There's nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Hmm. Well, little do you know, your daughter's gonna come to us. And, um, yeah. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Matale? Yes. Uh, who are you? My name is Raheja. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief and... He is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Does this have anything to do with uh, what happened to Shen? My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. I only want to find Shen Matali. 
You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please, tell me what has happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. I must tell the Jedi Council at once. The Jedi Council does not have the authority to search our estate, and if Father finds out his secret has been revealed, he might kill Shen right away. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. I will go now. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Okay, I feel like there was major Easter eggs right there. No, you are my only hope lying? Yeah. Oh, that's right, I have to go around back. Fun. Fine, Bastila, I'm healing you, but don't attack any more cap hounds. There, now everyone is nice and healed. Alright, let's open up this door. Go into the secret back way. And of course, right as we enter, there are some security droids for us to kill. Or will destroy. Okay, now we just need to find Shen. You shall fall. Yes, we all get to level up. Sweet. It's time to level up! Chokes, it's actually choke.
Okay, so we're done leveling up. Let's, uh, let's continue. Okay, let's see if we can find the room where Shen is trapped in. I believe it's locked. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But, let's see if we can find it. Okay, that's you. Not looking for you. Empty. Empty. Jesus. big walking place of XP, so if you're if you haven't played this game yet, I recommend you to do this uh, particular quest. because uh, you can get a lot of experience and uh, a lot of things to loot. Sometimes you get useless shit like repair kits. Get some computer spikes though. It's always useful to get more of those. Okay. Let's go through some more doors. Uh, I have a feeling it's this one with the mine in front of it. Yep, he, the paranoid, crazy schizophrenic father, locked. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I suck at mines. Uh, locked the other family's son into a room with the mine in front of it. And locked it up with a security key. So, there we go. There's Shen Matal. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? I'm here to rescue you, Shen. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you, Shen. Let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. What if we take Rahasia with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Why do you care so much about Rahasia? I was taught to hate the Sandrils, to think of them as evil and subhuman. But from the moment I saw Rahasia one day in the city, I knew that my father was wrong. She was like an angel, all white silks and perfume, seeming to float above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. For months I wooed her and tried to win her heart. I believe I have succeeded, but now this has happened. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please find her and convince her to run away with me. Okay, so we have found out why these two care so much about each other. They are in love. Oh. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Yes, I found your man. Uh, I'm trying to rescue Shen, but he won't leave without you, Rahasia. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Okay, so she's game. Let's go find Shen. 
<laughs> You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes. She promised she would meet us outside the gates. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear. But I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Okay, so there's gonna be a big confrontation between the Shen, two families and their father. You're safe. Rahasia! Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. We should get out of here quickly. You're right, we should go as fast as we can. I don't know how long it will be before my father realizes we're gone. You're right, we should. Oh, here comes Mr. Matali with two security droids. Oh, and look! There's Sandro. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matali. Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro. Yurik! Alan! I knew this was all your Why didn't anybody doing. say my name? I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. Okay, uh, you two just need to calm down. Please listen to her, father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Both of you calm down now. We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. Okay, let's try to persuade. Shen is capable of making decisions on his own. But he is my son. I don't want to lose him. And I won't let my daughter go with him. Children grow up and leave eventually. My little Rahasia. Father! I... I don't know why we fight like this. We got along in the beginning, didn't we, Alan? I don't know how you can think of that when we have our children trying to go away together. Well, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? Shen seems to genuinely care for my Rahasia. He might be a good husband for her someday. Hmm. As much as I may dislike it, I think I see it too. I knew you two could see reason. I suppose, I suppose I might be convinced to see that sandal girl with my son, if she is loyal to him. But I don't trust you a centimeter farther, old man. Your daughter may treat Shen well, but you will never see them. They Wait, now we're going to argue about who's going to live with Of course not, you pompous old windbag. They'll be living with me. Why don't you compromise? I will not have them set foot in a Sandral household. They shall not live with the Matales. Then you propose to buy us a new house, do you? Oh, uh, well, yes, actually. That sounds like a good idea. I'm surprised. That does sound like a good idea. We should discuss this more. Thank you, Master Jedi, for bringing us together and getting our parents to accept us. We will praise you to the Council for what you have done and name our children after you. Thank okay. you again. You don't need we to name your kids you after always. me. Uh, okay. So that was nice. You, did you... Uh, so yeah, does everybody feel happy? We uh, stopped two old men from fighting with each other. And then they all entered in and are gonna have wine and cake. I don't know. But, uh, we took care of the problem in, in the family. So, so, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end this right here. Uh, that was a great time. Uh, lots of calf hound killing, almost dying, retards i.e. Bastila, uh, running, running to the albino, the most powerful cow pound in this particular game. So thank you, Bastila. Thank you for that. That was wonderful.